for the Millennial Way Show, I am Ismael Trevino. Today, we're going to talk about the world of online gaming and its future, which is uh, fascinating. And we're going to do it with one of the best game developers around the world. Pixelmatic is a game development studio based in Shanghai and augmented by a distributed team from around the world. Established by game industry veterans from Ubisoft, Activision, Blizzard, and Relic. The studio develops and operates games for the global market. They focus on Infinite Fleet, an ambitious, massive multiplayer online role playing game that did leverage blockchain technology to create a new token, a new token game based economy where you are a commander within the United Soul Federation Combined Fleet, a military organization that could change the destiny of humanity by building or customizing and making changes on your fleet. Chris Wood is our guest. Chris is a passionate gamer, storyteller, with a decade of leadership and management experience in the video game and education industries. He leads the production of Infinite Fleet. And today is a pleasure and an honor to have him on our show. Chris, welcome to the Millennial Way Show. Please tell us, where are you right now? Ismail, thank you very, very much for having me on the show. I'm very, very excited indeed. Um, I'm in a town called Zhangjiagang, which is just outside of Shanghai. I've been kind of lucky to escape some, <laughs> some lockdowns over there. Um, Yes, and I'm the COO of Pixelmatic, making, as you said, in that amazing, wonderful introduction, Infinite Fleets, which is a huge, massively multiplayer online game. Chris, for those who don't know the game, what is Infinite Fleet? Sure. So Infinite Fleet, um, well, in Infinite Fleet, you're the commander of a fleet. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll have a capital ship and four cruiser ships with you. You'll go out into the galaxy, you'll take territory, you'll fight the evil Atrox aliens, and most importantly, you'll also cooperate with you know, hundreds of thousands of other players as well in this galactic playground. So players will all play together and fight back against this, this evil alien threat and make their mark on the galaxy. Um, and not only that, but as you touched on in the intro there as well, we have a portable currency that goes in through the game as well, which allows you to trade the digital goods that you earn um, within or without the game. So if you have an amazing uh, spaceship that you've spent you know, many years building, configuring, customizing, you could trade that with someone on an external market if you wish, because we believe in free and open markets as uh, sort of Bitcoiners as well. <laughs> Chris, back in June last year, you released two tokens. Can you please tell us about this? What is these two tokens about? Yeah, certainly. So um, firstly, the one I just spoke about is called the INF token, and that's purely an in-game currency. We're not selling it. You can't buy it from us. In fact, we use something called proof of participation, where players earn the token by just playing the game. So it's not an investment. It's not a speculative asset. It's simply something that allows for open trade in the game, just like any other digital currency that gamers might be aware, like uh, in Fortnite, they have V-Books. World of Warcraft, they have gold, you know, this kind of thing. Um, the EXO token, however, is a, is a totally separate thing, which we're using to, is, it's a security token, which we're using to raise uh, investment. Now, security tokens are kind of a very brand new technology. It's essentially a security, a, a share that is on the blockchain. Um, and it allows for amazing things like 24 seven trading, uh, very, you know, frictionless uh, trade, People that have been essentially whitelisted on platforms can trade them peer-to-peer uh, -peer very easily. And it's a, it's a really amazing new technology that we've uh, so far raised 7.8 million for our uh, company with. And we're, we are going to be expanding that. We're going to be doing a public raise uh, very soon, within months, actually. Within a month or two, we'll be doing a public raise on Bitfinex Securities, which is a brand new securities platform. Chris, how big is the online game industry and how many gamers have Infinite Fleet today? 
Well, Infinite Fleet's very much in the early days. We're, we're in the alpha at the moment. We're going to be releasing our beta in a, a couple of months, actually. It's, it's, we're right at the, uh, you know, the, the whole team is working on full, you know, full fire at the moment. It's quite an exciting time. But the gaming industry itself is massive. We were talking about 220 billion generated in revenue in 2021, I believe. It's projected to basically double that over to, to uh, through to, you know, over the next eight years or so, the CAGA is absolutely astonishing. Um, gaming is becoming more and more in, in the mainstream. I mean, I was a geeky kid, you know, when I, when I was growing up, it was just it was just the nerds that played games. Now everyone plays games, you know, it's more and more people are, are doing that. And it's a really exciting time to be a gamer and to be working in this space for sure. Ah. But Infinite Fleet, you know, we, we, we have, um, we've got a few thousand players at the moment, but it's a closed uh, invite uh, kind of game right now, but we'll be opening the floodgates very soon. Exciting times. <laughs> Chris, I understand that this model of play to earn is actually everywhere. What makes your game different from all of the, all of the ones that are out there? A few things. Firstly, um, mo not all, but most blockchain games, as I said, are raising money through un unregulated ways. Um, they're essentially generating a token Selling, selling it to anyone who, who can using influencers or whatever else. And then a lot of the time, these games aren't built particularly well. They're built specifically for the investment side. They're built specifically for the play to earn side. There isn't a core game there that's great. You know, it's mostly a quick, what we would call a pump and dump scheme or a scam, <laughs> you know, in many cases, not all, of course. Um, we are building a traditional game. If the, if the blockchain element of our game didn't exist, Infinite Fleet could still very much exist or would have still very much exist as a typical MMO game like World of Warcraft or any other. We just have this additional feature, which we believe is the core important thing of uh, cryptocurrencies in general, which is that freedom of trade. In fact, we're not monetizing whatsoever from INF. We're not taking any fees. We're not, you can't buy it from us. We're not raising with it. None of that at all. It's simply a feature that players can use to, to trade. Um, and the reason for this is that we believe so strongly in Bitcoin adoption that we think that the average gamer who is very put off by blockchain, you know, they don't, a lot of gamers don't like it. You know, they think it's, it's just a bit sometimes scammy or annoying, you know, all these crypto bros talking about this, they, they, they find it very annoying and it's a bit standoffish. So for us, what we're saying is you don't even need to know this thing was generated on a blockchain. It doesn't matter. It just, it lands in your account as you play this game and you can use it outside the game if you wish. If you wish, you can go down the grip to rabbit hole. If not, you never need to. You can just enjoy the game and you never even need to have heard of Bitcoin. But then see what happens is the people who have heard of it and the people who are interested in it, they'll say, hey, Ishmael, you know, you should check this out. You know, you could actually trade this over there on that platform. And, you know, you might, you might uh, make a couple of books or something like this. You might be able to then buy a pizza tonight. <laughs> And that we think is really cool because it rolls out the Trojan horse of adoption for cryptocurrencies, which is one of our main missions uh, as, as, to be honest, hardcore Bitcoiners. <laughs> Chris, how you end up into the world of online gaming? What's your story? Well, I've always been a massive gaming nerd. I've loved it since I was, I think, four years old. I've been playing games all, all the time. Uh, me and my granddad used to build PCs and things together. I always loved it. Um, and I moved to China and I, I actually started working in teaching English for my first year. And then I started running uh, franchise schools across China. And we did a whole bunch of software uh, games, educational games, things like this. Um, but then I met uh, Samson Mo, who is our CEO, uh, a, re a real trailblazer. This guy, Samson Mo is, is a very, very, very unique person who is extremely good at. Um, talking about his vision and we met uh he was quite interested in the things that i was doing at the time uh, infinite fleet was a very small project it was just at its concept stage and they were looking for a project manager you know and we just had a, a great chat and in about a one and a half hour conversation he just immediately made me <laughs> just persuaded me to jump ship from a really great education career straight into the video gaming industry because I was just I just love games I really wanted to work for this guy who's got such a high bar for quality um, and his vision of the game which is just such a cool idea of having all these these community members um, actually being able to drive a story by the actions that they take 
um, which is something we can touch on shortly. But yeah, I, I was just so excited to join. And then, so I've been with Pixelmatic for about five and a half years now, driving the development of this game for him. And sort of, sort of uh, you know, Samson obviously speaks the vision. I'm his COO and I'm the guy on the ground to try to, to make sure that it happens. I want to know, like, when you tell your, when you tell your parents, okay, I'm going to drop my job as a school <laughs> teacher because I just want to go follow this person who has a fascinating vision about games and I just want to go for that. How did that happen? Because it, 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 it might be a little bit of risky to drop a, you know, a security job to yep. follow the, the games world or for, for us, the ignorant that do not understand the multi-billion dollar industry that is behind. My parents, well, <laughs> my dad was funny because he, he's an engineer, you know, he's typical sort of STEM kind of guy, really great guy like that. Uh, and he was like, what are you doing? What? You're going to work in the blooming games industry. And I'm like, hell yeah, dad, I'm going to work in the games industry. I've been excited about this thing my whole life. I never thought I could get in it, you know, because I always thought you had to be, a, a you know, an engineer or something like this. Um, but, but I, you know, I, getting this opportunity was, I couldn't pass it off. I could not pass it off, Ishmael. To work in a, in an industry that you're so passionate about, it's it's an absolute gift. So yeah, for sure, my folks were extremely excited for me. And, and now I think they, uh, when they see the stuff that we're building in Infinite Fleet. Chris, we had the privilege of having here in Miami, Florida, where I am right now in the Miami Bitcoin 2022 uh, Samson Mo, he was one of the main sp uh, keynote speakers. Uh, you mentioned the importance of, of his vision. Uh, what's the vision of Samson Mo that, you know, called you the attention the most? And, and can you please share us his vision with our audience? Well, Samson is also an open market guy. He's a Bitcoiner through and through. You know, originally he was from uh, Ubisoft Relic, big AAA gaming studios. That was his background. You know, he started in games his whole life. When he was a kid, he was running gold mining operations in World of Warcraft. He know, you know, it was just a bit cheeky, let's be honest. Um, so he's been, he knows digital currencies through and through. And now look at him, he's, he's trailblazing, you know, driving Bitcoin adoption to nation states. So while he, you know, as, as he announced during Miami 2022, they, uh, he, he's now the CEO of Jam3, which just recently made I think 21 million in investment, which will be driving layer two technologies of Bitcoin, mm -hmm. driving adoption, driving nation state adoption. We all share this vision that basically we should all be Bitcoiners and eventually we will be in this, in, in, in the world. And so, for gaming, that's where it really ties in as well. Like I say, he knows digital currencies uh, through and through, and he knows that Infinite Fleet is the perfect Trojan horse to drive Bitcoin adoption globally because games are boundaryless, right? I mean, you can play games, uh, you know, any, any country you, you can play games. And we have the most amazing talent. Uh, you know, he has attracted some of, some of the top developers around the world. Jason Lee, for example, who was the lead game designer on Age of Empires 4, which just came out, massive IP. Uh, Wayne Wong Chong, who was previously at EA, Relic, worked on FIFA, worked on one of the first ever Spider-Man animated, uh, 3D animated shows. You know, we've, we've got an incredible team that, that's been attracted here. And our mission is firstly, yep, to, to drive M uh, this MMO game globally and also Bitcoin. So the vision is that Massively multiplayer online social imaginative games will have free and open marketplaces where players can really own a digital item through cryptocurrency, particularly Bitcoin. Chris, what would be your best advice for the new generations, for our audience to follow their passion and succeed? Well, let me tell you something. Our three core words, our, our sort of slogan in Pixmatic for, for our team members is responsibility, excellence, and passion. Everyone who comes to work is passionate about Infinite Fleet, about what we're working on. Sure, the money's great. It's nice to have that. <laughs> you, always, you need money to live. You need money to enjoy things. But when you go to work in the morning, you need to wake up jump out of bed, you know, have your coffee and just be ready to smash it, ready to be the hardest worker in the room. Because at the end of the day, when you're building something which you believe in, which is your vision, which is one of the reasons that you think you're placed here on this earth, 
then um, I think that nothing can stop you. And so obviously for anyone, it's important to know what your passion is. It's important for you to know, you know, you, you sit on the edge of your bed at the end of the night and think, why am I here? What do I believe in? Who, sh who, where should I be working? Who should I be working for? Should I be working for myself? What is it that I'm going to do? And I think once you've found that, there's not a lot that can stop you, right, Ishmael? I'm sure you feel the same way. And that work isn't work anymore. Work is well, your passion and something that is, it's your life, right? 100% agree, 100% agree. <laughs> I, mean, I really, I really, I'm connected with that, with, with what you just said. Chris Wood, uh, CEO of Pixel Matting, it was a really pleasure and an honor to have you today on the Millionaire Way Show. We really appreciate it. We will be following your projects, all your projects. And uh, thank you very much for being with us. Ishmael, thank you very much. I really enjoyed the show. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Well, there you had it. Chris Wood, COO of Pixelmatic, one of the leaders of the online multi-billion game industry. I wasn't really aware of how big was this uh, and how massive was this industry of online gaming. And uh, well, you can see it in the, when they do this uh, World Cup or World Championship uh, games. These are stadiums full physic stadiums packed of young people playing these online um, streaming games. So it's really fascinating and how the speed of the exponential growing of uh, the online gaming industry, well, is remarkable. And now if you're adding this uh, blockchain technology, the Bitcoin base, uh, the, the new generations of tokens inside and outside the games so you can trade um, either you know for other coins other tokens and to buy actually as, as he mentioned just a piece of a slide of pizza so it's really uh, amazing where, where, where are we right now and where are we heading with this uh, world of online gaming I really appreciate you watch this interview. If you like it, let us know. Please send us your message. And remember that this interview, you can see it actually not only on our YouTube uh, channel, but also on our other social media platforms. You can hear it on Spotify and many other digital online platforms. My name is Ismael Trevino, and this is the Millennial Way Show, empowering the new generations. Until the next one.